Welcome to the CBS Show. It's the CBS Show. Helping you expand on what you know. Throw in a meme of the week and a review of the screen. And you have a show that covers everything. Hey, hey, Team Stevia, and welcome to episode 80 of The Stevia Show. A talk show podcast that covers pop culture, world news, local artistry, and everything in between. As always, this is Steven. And this is Lydia. And we hope everybody is having a good day, good week, and we have Matt with us in the studio today. Oh, okay, hang on. We did not hear him say that. One second. Um, Hang on. Oh, okay, hang on. It would help if I turned his gain up. Okay, go ahead and say that again. Hello. There oh, we go. Nice. Hi, okay. Matt. Thankfully, that was an easy fix. So sorry about that, Matt. And uh, so we're glad to have him in the studio with us. And we're going to be talking about all the things today. Um, so but first, uh, last episode, good time. Talked about all the fun things, all the COVID things and whatnot. <laughs> um, and about Tesla, all of that fun stuff. Um, but again, for the meme of the week, we have. Oh, wait, this is the wrong. I'm losing my mind. That was the wrong. Button. Wow. Are you OK today? I don't think You're so. You're very no. like flustered. Why are we so I, flustered I am today? Flustered today. It's just, um, it's been a long week. It honestly. has. It's been a very long week. <laughs> and yeah, I'm flustered. So hang on, we'll do that again. There we go. There okay, it so, is. So, yes. Uh, so for the meme of the week this week, uh, I have won two weeks in a row. Which oh is, which my is a, gosh. Which is a feat that I have not accomplished in a very long time. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and it is unfortunately at the expense of Matt's sister. Uh, so Matt, do you want to <laughs> yep. go into a bit of a background about the story of your sister and Blake Westerby stepsister. Oh, stepsister. Oh, oh that's oh, right. right. I think I'd be more comfortable if you explained it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's fair. That's fair. Okay. So basically, um, our, our, our good friend and former intern, Blake Westerby, he was in need of a webcam because he's been starting to stream. His streams are a lot of fun. You should check them out. Uh, however, he put on Twitter that he needed a webcam. And then Matt said that his uh, stepsister charity spelled C H A R I T E E. <laughs> correct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that she was selling a 4k 60 FPS Logitech <laughs> Brio webcam. And it was fun. It was for some sort of business where she stayed up late at night and helped people out basically. Right. Oh yeah. My God. Yeah. So, Stop. I mean, so unbeknownst to Blake and everybody else, we didn't know what Matt's sister does, and we still don't know. It's still a topic of mystery in the uh, Stevia Show Discord. <laughs> so basically, Matt and I teamed up in messing with Blake and saying that you know he that she that she had this webcam and stuff, and she was going to sell it for what two hundred dollars? Yeah, something like yeah, that. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah trying try to make some money moves. Um, Dang. That's typically what we all do here at the Stevia Show. Um, so basically what happened is I put, uh, so on Blake's stream, he did this thing where he like made his eyes really big and I put, whenever you realize what Matt's sister does at night and why she has that webcam and that one, and there was an onslaught of Matt's sister memes. It was pretty funny. It, it was pretty funny. I was very entertained throughout. Yeah, yeah it was good. Uh, so did your sister, did your, sorry, did your stepsister say anything about this? She has not reached back out to me. She is not. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She's unavailable for comment. Unavailable yeah. right now. <laughs> Right on. So uh, maybe I will do a three P like the uh, you know like the Chicago Bulls did twice in the nineties. But, uh, but that remains yet to be determined. So yeah, that's cool. the meme of the week. Absolutely. Congratulations. Right. Do what? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> From it. one meme master to the next. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up is Lydia's media review. Yes, the button. Oh, I got it got right. It. I got it right. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, this week, once again, movie theaters are closed. So Matt and I have reverted to finding um, movies on Netflix. And this week we found a movie called Hell or High Water, made in 2016, I believe. Um, basically, it's about a divorced father and his ex-con older brother resort to a desperate scheme in order to save their family's ranch. In West Texas. Nice. Uh, they rob banks. It's pretty fun. Ooh, that's um, cool. And Chris Pine is in it, Ben Foster, and uh, the one and the only Jeff Bridges. Nice. Um, it was a pretty good movie. I liked it. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 97% for Rush. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Matt? It was good. <clears throat> I think I would give it about a 7 out of 10. Ooh, 7 out of 10. You're being, okay. you're being pretty rough here in quarantine <laughs> on our quarantine movies, huh? I mean, <laughs> you can't give everything 9 out of 10. Well, tell that to Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, <laughs> what do you want sure from me, can. dude? Sure you can. Um, in other media 
Uh, Suzanne Collins, the creator of The Hunger Games, has released a new novel in the hun- Hunger Game universe, um, and it came out Wednesday. It's called A Ballard of Song- Songbirds and Snakes. It's about the 10th uh, Hunger Games, so it's a prequel to the um, other ones with Katniss. And then another cool thing in the book world is Stephanie Meyer announced her new book in the Twilight universe, Midnight Sun, which will be Edward Cullen's point of view during um, the Twilight book. So uh, 12 years ago, a leaked manuscript of the first three chapters were online, and now we finally have the full book coming in August. Nice. And what's funny is after I read all the books, my mom and I actually read the three-chapter manuscript, and we were like, we want more, and she just stopped. She it, she stopped at chapter three right, right. and then finally came back for it. So we've so, got some nostalgia coming up here. So were you on Team Edward or Team Jacob? Team Edward. Oh, okay, gotcha. I was, yeah. Okay, cool. Right Even on. though Team Jacob... I, I understand why they're Team Jacob. Gotcha. I never read the books. Or Were you Team movies. Edward? I, no. I, I, I don't know. What about Hunger Games, pal? Uh, I liked Hunger Games, yeah. Oh, you watch those movies? Uh, I, I, some of them. I, I think I've seen the oh first two. My. I think I've seen the first two, but I've read the first three books. So. Oh, so you read the books? Yeah. A few oh, of them. okay. Yeah. There's only three. Oh, there is only three. Wow. Wow. Okay. You're caught cool. up. I'm go- <laughs> Excellent. I know what happens at the end. Yes. What about you, Matt? I have not seen uh, either. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you have not seen the Hunger Games? Mm-mm. Or Twilight. Or Twilight. Nope. What? Nope. Okay. Those well, are for girls. This is... What? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, this is going to be changed. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't realize that Matt has never watched or read the books, so that's embarrassing. I think Matt would be Team Jacob. I feel like he would be, too. I feel like, too. I mean, from what little understanding I have of Twilight, he seems like a Team Jacob guy. I just don't even know if I want him to watch the Twilight movies, though, because they're so bad. Are the books really? are way better. Okay, gotcha. I mean, because... But I remember the Hunger what, Games are... The, the Hunger the Games books are, are awesome. The books are amazing, but the, the, the movies were good. Yeah, for sure. You've never watched the movies? Nope. Why? Never got around to it. They're too, so good. Too busy making money moves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> playing, yes. the, playing the stonk market. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. On to our main segment. So we're just going to kick it off with COVID-19, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're just out of control today. I'm really sorry, everyone. We're yeah. just not having... <laughs> it's just not a normal day here in Stevia Studios. It's not. It's been a week. Um, worldwide, we have 5,354,539 cases with 343,116 deaths. USA, 1,628,251 cases, 97,211 deaths. Oklahoma. We're now ranked 38 nice. of all the states, so go us. We only have 5,960 cases with 311 deaths. Iowa uh, has 17,213 cases, 449 deaths, and they're ranked 22nd, so they're right in the middle there. Florida, 50,127 cases and 2,233 deaths, and they are ranked number nine. Well, let's go ahead and open those beaches back up. They're going to open yeah. the beaches. Yeah. Universal opens in two weeks. Um, Disney oh, is my. about to put a plan to open up, but hey. Hey, let's see if they get, um, <laughs> they might overtake New York just by all three of those things. You never I mean, know. I mean, I don't know about you all, but from the few times I've been to Disney World, it's always packed. I mean, I, it's a it's a decently cool place to be. I mean, oh, I, I, mean I have fun there. Yes. But I feel like that's that's going to end in disaster. Yeah. I feel like. But. I don't know. We're, it's going to be interesting. It is. Um, but really quick. So Oklahoma, we were higher last week, correct? So we have we dropped since then? Mm, 5,086 cases and we have 5,960 cases. Oh, I was talking about our rank. Because I, cause, cause I thought a few weeks ago we were like 28 or something like that. Yeah, okay. I think at first, uh, a few weeks ago we were like mid-20s, like 28, 29. Okay. Cool. So we are going down. That's awesome. We are going down cool. in the ranking system. But overall, every state has had an increase in cases. Gotcha. Since everybody's reopening. Right. Huh. Who could have predicted that? Interesting. Yeah, weird. <laughs> uh, also, the New York Times front page on May 23rd was a list and profiles of the nearly 100,000 individuals who have lost their lives due, the, of the, due to the ongoing pandemic, which was really kind of crazy because there was no pictures. It was just literally all words. I looked at it. Right. It was really sad. Yeah, yeah, but it was fake news. Oh, of course. It was fake oh, news. was it fake news? Yep. Tell well, us more. No, that's just what Trump and his people. No, it's, or, what, it's actually fake news. I read about it yesterday. Oh, okay. What is that? Some people went and researched the names, and they found multiple that were actually deemed homicide, and they put homicide victims in the victims' names to to jack it up a little bit. Hmm. That's bizarre. So the New York Times did that? Yep. Mm. Hmm. 
Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. We're glad yeah. that you're here to debunk, debunk <laughs> this news, Matt. Yep. Fox is fake. <laughs> Fox They're is all fake. fake. CNN's fake. They're all paid money. The only people we can trust is PBS. Literally. Like, like, PBS and the Associated Press. That's that's basically it. Obviously, we can't even trust the New York Times <laughs> paper. We can't trust anything They print anymore. that stuff. They <laughs> they, they're not even right. Gotcha. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, well. It happens. Uh, but okay, this next thing that you found is really interesting. So, Super cool. Yeah, yeah, did go- you wa- did you get to watch? I didn't even I didn't include the link, so you probably didn't see it. No. There's a video in pictures. Okay, well, I w- it's cool. I, I want to see those after this. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, so this is our WTF segment. So um, according to CNN, the U.S. successfully tested a laser weapon that can destroy aircraft mid flight. There is a video, and it's this is um, from CNN v- Business, and the video shows the laser melting a drone, which was super cool, and it's it's expected to be a 150 kilowatt laser, but the information wasn't disclosed in the article, so that was just the guess um, from like a uh, article from 2017. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what 150 kilowatt laser is or how much power that is, but it looked scary, and it was definitely death. Death Star esque. Gotcha. It and was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it does have uh, with 150 kilowatt laser. It literally has "kill" in the title. Literally. So it's, so it's got to be pretty. Oh yeah. Pretty pretty deadly. Um, Lieutenant Kale Hughes said, "We don't worry about wind. We don't worry about range. We don't worry about anything else. We're able to engage the targets at the speed of light." That's such a douchey statement. Just a side note. It's like we don't care about the wind. We don't care it's about anything fine. else. We're just gonna blast them right out of the sky. Yeah. America. So um, it's on one of our. Sh- Navy ships in the middle of Pacific. I can't remember which ship it was, but it was pretty interesting. Gotcha. Yeah, I liked so it. I'll need to look that up. But it was definitely Death Star. Like, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's basically looking for. Um, basically, everybody's looking for love in Alderaan places. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that um, I, I do want to look at that. Uh, and now in political drama, we have of course our uh, lovely President Donald Trump and our equally lovely Speaker <laughs> of the House Nancy Pelosi. So basically, the tension between these two is just insane. Like they just need to. They hate each other. They just need to do something and get it get it over with. Um, because it's it's just horrible. So basically, on May 23rd, Donald Trump retweeted a tweet saying, quote, when I see one of those polls that has malarkey the racist, which more on that later, up <laughs> six to eight points everywhere, I'm thinking they must have called the same 1,000 people from 2016 that said HRC, the skank, was up six to eight percent. So that's... Why in the world? And he retweeted that. Yeah. So... So we have HRC the skank. You think it's okay to use the word skank in a tweet, Matt? I'm wondering. You're just like looking off into space, so I just am trying to get you into the conversation. No. Okay, great. <laughs> so then why does the president think it's okay to use skank in a tweet? Uh, because it, it riled up his base. And then also on May 22nd, in an interview with CNN, uh, again, uh, the Speaker of the House, uh, Nancy Pelosi, said, as far as the president is concerned, he's our president, and I would rather um, he not be taking something which is hydrochloroquine <laughs> that has not been approved by the scientists, especially in his age group and in his, <laughs> shall we say, weight group, morbidly <laughs> obese, they say. So I think it's not a good idea. <laughs> so. RBLBs. Yeah, but the dumb thing is, is, <laughs> is I actually remember because uh, uh, Matt and I that that was the episode uh, he and I did because you were in uh, on a cruise. You were in Puerto Rico uh, in December. Yeah. Uh, so we actually watched the impeachment proceedings and uh, we um, at the at the restaurant we were at and Nancy Pelosi was like, "This is such a dark day in our history. We're impeaching <laughs> our president, but we have to do it." And then I hear she is, "He's our president," so I'm just gonna call him fat. I'm you just know? gonna call him fat. It's fine. Yeah, they both suck. In his age group. Calling him old, which is which he is old, but, but I'm she, sure she's about the same oh, age. I guarantee you, there. I'm okay. I'm gonna look it up, but there can't be more than like a, a seven year gap. That's my guess. Okay, seven yeah, years. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I feel like they're about the same. They're, they've got to be because Nancy Pelosi sometimes looks like she's barely alive. I didn't know and, Pelosi. Wait, did was this a tweet or was this a press? It thing? was an interview. Like she, I'll look said, it up. she said that. Okay, Matt, I'll look it up. Cool. Okay, yeah, because I think Trump's like seventy. He's seventy something. He's uh, he he's up there. But then again, so is Nancy Pelosi. Um, but yeah, so Nancy it, Pelosi is eighty. No wow. way! Yeah, and then what? Wait, so she's probably actually older than Trump. Then. That's what I'm thinking. She's older than Trump. Yeah, because Trump. I don't think Trump's eighty yet. Trump's, I think Trump's seventy-seven. Like, I think he's. Yeah, hang on. So let's figure out how old Donald Trump is. He is seventy-three. Seven years. Look at that. Right on wow, the dot. Good seven job, years. Steven. Wow! I just hit the horn. Yeah, hit the horn. 
<laughs> the horn <laughs> mask. Thank you. Yeah, so, okay, first off, okay, yes. Uh, like, whoa! Yeah, obviously Nancy Pelosi is is of a more thin physique than President Trump, <laughs> but, 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 but how can she say in his age group whenever she She's is older. seven years his senior? That is so bad. She's 80? She's older than my grandpa. That's crazy. Like... And she's and calling she's Donald Trump old. old in his age group. Like, if she would have said in our age yeah, group, yeah, like you our know, age group, like, like Nancy Pelosi newsflash, like Donald Trump is not the only old person in Washington. <laughs> like, nearly everybody, all is. of them are old. Yeah, like including you know, in- including favorites like Bernie Sanders and you know people like that. They're all old. And Warren old, old. Yeah, uh, Jim Inhofe not a favorite. Very, very old. old. <laughs> very old. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, all these people are old. And speaking of old people and and things to say. Let's talk about Joe Biden. Oh man, Stephen, we t- we talked about this this week. This was bad. I'm still cringing about this. It was really bad. Okay. It like it gives me these like awkward arm cringes. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll, is I'll read the first part and then you can read the the little eye part okay. underneath it. So um, for those of you all who haven't heard, uh, Joe Biden was in an interview with a radio personality named Charlemagne the God on his popular program, The Breakfast Club, which is very popular with the African American community. Joe Biden basically ended the interview by saying, "Quote and uh, again, quote. I just want to make make it very evident that I am not the one saying this." Biden said, "If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or for Trump, then you ain't black." God. Coming from a, again, 70-something-year-old white man saying, you ain't black, Mm. that's just not cool. So Charlemagne then responded by saying, it don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact that I want something for my community. To which Biden replied, take a look at my record, man. These comments came after Charlemagne the God told Biden that black voters, quote, saved your political life in the primaries, and they have things that they want from you. So... Pretty, pretty intense there. You know, and he ended the interview like that, and he, he was doing a pretty good job. I watched like the first, I watched like a minute or two mm-hmm. before that comment, and he was like, it was okay. Right. But then. And then it just went down. It was like the, the kilowatt. Poop hole. It was a kilowatt laser. Bam. Bam. On the interview. Like, Joe Biden so has much. The, the laser. So Biden quickly peddled back his comments later in the day on the 22nd. He stated to the Associated Press that I shouldn't have been such a wise guy. No one should have to vote for any party based on their race or religion or background. And that he would never take the African American community for granted. Yeah. Critical oof here, Team Steve. This was big. Critical oof. So much like with, Ta- with Tara Reid, corporate news has been relatively silent on the matter. Additionally, Charlemagne was absolutely right. Biden, earlier this year, if you remember, Biden was getting absolutely destroyed by rivals Bernie Sanders and Pete Buttigieg. Mm-hmm. And had the African American not showed out for Biden in the South Carolina primary, his bid for president would have just been over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, and so that's just insane that that he says that and he, again, is getting away with it, much like with Tara Reid. Uh, because if, the, uh, I, I mean, as much as I don't like Donald Trump, had he have said this, it would have been a total shitstorm, and rightfully so, because that is a horrible thing. Yeah, to Yeah, because you're not supposed to say things like that. Well, because that's it's it's racist. You can't just be saying like, what if Donald Trump said, you know, if you don't vote for me, you ain't white. You know, like that's just ridiculous. You can't. Actually, on the other side of that, I feel like if he would have said that, nobody also would have batted an eye. Which is dumb, and because he yeah. can use terms like skank and oh, it'd be true. fine, right? Yeah, nobody else true. said like, hey. Donald, you can't call women skanks. Right. Okay. That's like, fair. that's not cool, dude. Yeah. That, that's touche. That is absolutely <laughs> fair. Um, but I just, I want to say, I can't believe it, but at this point in our, in our society, in our political environment, it doesn't surprise me at all. Nope. And yeah. And whenever he says, it's take, sad, it's 2020. And whenever he says, take a look at my record, man, like I, I really wish Charlemagne would have replied. I mean, but again, this was like a heat of the moment thing that he would have said, yeah, you were the one that was against busing like right. back in the 1960s. Like, can we, yeah, let's go back to yeah. your record, yeah. pal, yeah. because yeah. your record is obviously so, not good with our, that community. So we, so we, we basically have old records old white racist a versus old white racist b <laughs> and it's not going to be fun team uh but i guess in good news for her pres- uh, for vice president joseph robinette biden jr uh, according to pbs news hour joe biden did win the Demo- the hawaii democratic primary with 63.2 percent of the vote on may 23rd and this primary was delayed due to covid 19 and what is the final joe biden news that we have today that is also not very exciting 
Finally, the Associated Press reported on May 21st that Amy Klobuchar is officially being vetted to be Biden's running mate. While she is the only person confirmed to be involved in the vetting process, Biden did say in his follow-up comments to his interview blunder that multiple black women are being considered. Yeah, which, I mean... Why? Why can't they just be women? Why do they got to be black women? Well, because... Why does he have to say black women? Because it was after the... But he doesn't say... I'm vetting Amy Klobuchar, who is a white woman. Right, but I think the reason why is he said that he, he said that in the same follow up to the Charlemagne. Yeah, well, he's interview. an idiot. He is an idiot. Yeah. Um. So basically, if if Amy Klobuchar is indeed the VP nominee again, Amy Klobuchar is qualified to be vice pre- vice president. We like but, Amy. But they, but my they, dad liked Amy. Yeah, but they, dad. Yeah, he's watching. Hi, dad. Yeah, but they they are too politically similar. It would be like Clinton Kane. It would be the exact same scenario. Just. Yeah, just reverse. It, it it would not be an exciting. Ticket. I still think Kamala is uh, I, his best bet. I think so too. But with, with Joe Biden, and, so and far what's he's happened, not really doing anything to impress me right now. Pick something pretty dumb. So, but not in in not pretty dumb news. Sports are coming back. They're coming back. So we're excited. Matt, how excited are you that sports are coming back? Very excited. Now, Matt, are you going to be sad that you won't be able to uh, rewatch the you know 1974 uh, PGA Masters on ESPN, or are you still going to watch that? I'll still watch it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Last night, he fell asleep to the 1998 Ryder Cup. 99. I is- said 99 this morning, and you corrected me to 98. <laughs> oh, you said 98, and I said 99. Oh, my gosh. Well, he fell asleep to it, and then we woke Ryder up Cup. this morning, and what did we watch this morning? United States made the biggest comeback ever on the <laughs> final Sunday singles <laughs> to win. Because the Ryder Cup the Ryder Cup is tennis, right? No. No, no, no. Oh. That's golf. Oh, it's still. golf. Okay. <laughs> See, I just don't watch golf. It's, it's not not something you watch. I don't know. Golf is something you play. But what did whatever. we what did we watch this morning? I watched the ninety six, <laughs> uh, one of the ninety six tournaments. I remember which one it was. But was it golf? Yeah, it's golf. Oh my god! So I need everyone at TGC to freaking help me. We yeah. need sports back in now. I need to watch it. Byron Nelson Championship. That's what I was watching. Ninety six Byron Nelson. <laughs> That colonial. Oh my. Uh, Are you a Byron Nelson stan? Yeah, he's one of the greatest of all times. He's the only person to ever win 11 in a row. Oh my God. So, that, so wait, 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 wait. So, well, of course, we already know the results of the, me- <laughs> yes, of the golf do. tournaments from forever ago, but you're just watching them just to watch Byron win. No, these- Byron Nelson has been dead a long time. Well, that, but they named the they named the tournament after him. It's but, his tournament. But right, but that doesn't. But if you're say if you're watching him doing the 11 in a row, was that in the 90s or was that? No, that was back in. Like way back early nineteen hundreds. Oh wow! So we're not there yet. Well, thankfully, video cameras didn't thankfully, really exist. Oh, please, thank, and also thank the e- Lord. ESPN didn't exist <laughs> back then. So we, so you might be able to dodge the nineteen oh two Ryder <laughs> <Thank> Cup, <you. laughs> <Thank> <laughs> the Ryder Cup where it was played in uh, Indian territory because <laughs> Oklahoma wasn't even a state back then. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Um. Oh, but in interesting news, uh, Matt, uh, uh, Tulsa and uh, the PGA. You retweeted something about that, about how we're going to host the championship or something yep, like that. The PGA championships coming back to Tulsa in 2030 or 20. Yeah, I can't remember the exact year. It's a long ways away. But Tiger Woods will be 52 whenever it comes he'll still back. be playing. Yeah, he'll still be playing. And then oh man, and the, uh, I'll, I'll be 30. Oh, no. By that point. We'll be well past 30. Yeah, I'm, I'm not stoked. <laughs> well okay. past 30. Moving on. Okay, so what's happening with the NBA? <laughs> so uh, they announced yesterday the NBA plans on restarting their season in July at Disney World's Wide World of Sports Complex. So there's hope. Awesome. Now, are they jumping straight into the playoffs or are they going to do a regular season? That This was not. I don't think that was. Said yet. That wasn't in the article. Gotcha. Okay, well, but we're just excited that it's coming back. Absolutely, and and I I really like the idea of having like the the whole hub cities, which uh, the next league, which is going to be the National Hockey League. Uh, ESPN reported on May twenty second that the NHL Players Association, their executive board, approved the league's plan for a return. So ESPN states that um, under the plan, the top four seeds in each conference, as determined by their standings points percentage when the regular season was paused on March the twelfth, would receive buys through a round. Through around a best of five play in series, much like the wild card series in the NF- in the NFL, um, uh, to determine which teams will then advance to the traditional sixteen team Stanley Cup playoff bracket, which would which would have seven game series. Additionally, the NHL is going to utilize only two hub cities for each conference. That way, the only travel required will be for the Stanley Cup final. Las Vegas is considered an early favorite for the Western Conference due to the abundance of vacant hotel rooms that would provide more than enough space for the play. 
players and their families. And for the Eastern Conference, Columbus, Ohio is being considered due to Republican Governor Mike DeWine's widely acclaimed COVID-19 response. Because um, I think Ohio's numbers are going down and Ohio is a pretty populous state. And Mike, mm -hmm. Mike DeWine's done really good about it. So we at least have two confirmed leagues that are going to be making a summer return. So that's very exciting. Golf um, returns first, though. Oh, okay. When does <laughs> when when does golf return? <laughs> when does golf return, Matt? Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Um, are cool. they just uh, playing? Is there going to be any crowds or no fans? Um, they're all the participants are traveling on the same chartered flight, uh, staying in the same hotels, all that jazz. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Cool. I so don't think it's going to work. I don't think any of these are going to work. You don't think so? I don't think there's enough testing. I think they're they're planning on testing everyone, but they're. I saw that. <clears throat> most of them are only going to be testing symptomatic people mm. once they've already been tested once, which oh. is a big problem. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, I don't know. I want to be optimistic. Like I think it'll work just because mostly because I just miss sports. Um, but I guess that'll, we all want it to work. We all want it to work. We don't I know mean, if it's going to work. The, and these are creative ideas too. I mean, it's, it's smart what they're doing. In but, theory, none of this is going to work until we find a vaccine. Oh, right, right. Oh yeah. Cause Bill Gates is going to microchip all of us. Right. Which right? is totally ridiculous. All the, all the COVID-19 conspiracy theories. But yeah. I think Matt's right. You know, it, people are, if you, when you get lots of people together, no matter if they're on the same, like if they've been doing the same stuff. Yeah. You can't control, like, I can't control who you've been seeing in the past week. No. Yeah. So by me coming over here, I'm just taking a risk and hoping that you haven't been, like, you know, out to a big bar party. No. You know what I mean? I already don't go to bars. And I also, right. I also don't get invited to parties. So me neither. There's, <laughs> there's, yeah. But you know what I mean? So it's right. like all these guys that are famous golfers, they're about right. to get on a plane to hopefully, but so they can all say, yeah, can they all say, hey, I've just been chilling? Yeah, oh probably my gosh. not. I saw a really good tweet the other day about uh, the whole the whole mask, no mask thing. And it was like, OK, so since, you know, your your safety is not my responsibility, I'm going to start driving in the left lane mm -hmm. um, because those are just guidelines. You know, like I, sh I, I shouldn't have to adhere to them because this is a free country, damn it. And, I can do whatever I um, want. And yeah, same and with the seatbelt, same with the seatbelt. Right. So if I'm driving in the left lane and you don't see me. Sorry, Lydia, that's Sorry. your fault. I'm just going to smash you. Sucks and, for me. Yeah, sucks for you because I was exercising my right as an American. Yeah. So that's, that, 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 that was a really funny tweet. And that's. I've seen a lot of those. It, right. It's like, you're not going to wear your mask, so you don't wear your seatbelt or. <laughs> right, right, right. Or like. The when whole, you like, get in a roller coaster, you don't put the, the <laughs> restraint on. You just go like. what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, I'm just going to hop on the. um. Uh, uh, what's the one? Uh, the, the rock and roller coaster. Just. I'm just going <laughs> to. Yeah. Just, just, just going to free it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And then whenever and then whenever you see the the, the, the dark loops, just hope you grab on at the yeah. right time so that hope way you when win. you're when you're inverted. Technically the rock and roller coaster goes so fast though, if you when you do go upside down, you wouldn't fall out. Really? Yeah. There we go. So Disney has already made it safe <laughs> for me to not wear my brace at yep. the cool. So I can go to Disney um, <laughs> during COVID nineteen and I don't yeah. have to wear mm -hmm. a restraint on the rock and roller coaster. One hundred percent. I'm gonna book tickets in July. Because see you all it's there. <laughs> You're right, as an American. It, it, yeah, I love this country so much. Um, I don't yeah. really have anything else. Yeah, me either. We're oh, just talking. I, yeah, but I did see another one. One, one. one more, sorry. It was like, like, why is it that no shirt, no shoes, no service? Like, that doesn't bother anybody at all. <laughs> but, but the second a mask is thrown in, all of a sudden, like, that's... It's the end of the world. It's the end of the world, but whatever. Yeah, I think that's it for today. I mean, kind of a quick episode. Anything, but, Matt? Anything extra? Nope. Gotcha. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've been uh, pretty quiet today. Um, who do you predict is going to win the 1992 Ryder Cup? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I guess we'll find out. Uh, no, on, on please ESPN. don't put me on yeah. that. <laughs> don't put me in that but, world. Oh, well, I, I, I have to know. I, I am literally at the edge of my seat, <laughs> like trying to figure out the, the, the Ryder Cup the year that uh, two of us were born. But yeah, so I think that's it for today. Um, just kind of a quick episode. Thankfully, uh, th today wasn't as much doom and gloom, just a lot of cringe. So cringe. Lots is, of cringy it, today. Well, cringe is better than sadness. I mean, you know, yeah. I'll take that any day of the week. I guess I'd feel I'd rather feel awkward than sad. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. But I don't like to feel awkward. Oh, no, me either. But I'm also and Joe glad. Biden makes me feel awkward every <laughs> single day. I was about to say that. Like, I am so glad that it's not me being racist <laughs> because I don't want to be racist. And it's some other, you know, old white man <laughs> who's being racist and not me. Uh, but yeah, so basically, as always, you can, you can you can plug your streams. 
Plug your streams Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, oh, good, yeah idea. good idea. Yeah, we did talk about that. Oh, we didn't talk about we it. Didn't. We, just, we just did we an just announcement. Did it. Yeah, we just we just did it because we're <laughs> Americans. <laughs> And, and we that's can. All right. yeah. <laughs> we we can stream whenever we want. Okay, but Lydia, go ahead and, and say. It. Um, we have a streaming schedule now. Yes. We play games on Tuesdays and Thursdays around seven o'clock. Uh, Stephen plays on Tuesdays, and I play on Thursdays. Yes, around seven o'clock. It's very fun. Uh, I streamed Rocket League on Tuesday, and me, Alec, and Blake got destroyed because we were playing. It was funny. Yeah, it, it was funny, but we were also playing unranked matches, so we were being like thrown in there with. With with like high ranked people, so oh, is that what you were doing? Yeah, for real, yeah, and that was uh, that's uh, why not, did you do that? Because, why didn't you just play like the novice? Uh, well, because the matchmaking was faster, and we just wanted to play for funsies. Oh, okay, yeah, and it, also it was just fun, you know, getting killed and saying that on the stream, like all the f's in the chats and yeah, that's stuff fun. like that. Yeah, and I think we were the you three, actually um your stream I think is what made Matt want to start playing Rocket, Rocket League. Rocket League is so much fun. Why, so we got Rocket League, and now Matt loves it. Have you played it yet? Nope. Okay, it's really fun. I have not played. I've watched. Rocket League is a very easy game to learn, but it's hard to master because the the, the physics in it, uh, Matt and I were talking earlier, is just totally ridiculous. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It looks it looks crazy because there's like jumps and you have to do kinds yeah. of all kinds of things and, and then, the ball. And then Thursday you stream for like six and a half hours, <laughs> it seemed like <laughs> it was um, like four. Right, which is which is nuts, but you also had a four day weekend. So Yeah, like, so I, I was just like YOLO, let's go. Right, yeah, because you did um you did Tarkov, which that game still just gives me anxiety. I did Tarkov for an hour. Yeah. And I then, only got out one time out of three, I nice. think. Nice. And then you played Call of Duty with uh with um you played Call of Duty with your girls with uh Kaylee, Kristen and um and Sierra, correct? Yep. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And did, did you carry the team or did they make any meaningful con- contributions or uh, Stephen, we're live on a podcast, so well, I don't want to. Like, oh, no, well, I'm just well, kidding. I'm just well, kidding. Well, 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 it was I, being I was, funny. Okay, gotcha. Because because I, I was gonna say because whenever it was whenever it's me, you, Garland, and Logan, you and Logan for sure carry the team. So, yeah. So I, I'm it's 100. percent Okay, cool. I'm just, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a compliment to your skills. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you're welcome, that. You're welcome. But they are getting better. They good. can they can go forward and look around nice. at the same time, hey, and that is really good. So good for them, yeah. we're working on it. Yeah, I've been doing a lot better in solo. So I so I am good. training. I am good, good, good. We're ready for you. So so that. Way uh, me and Garwar don't d- Garwar don't, Garwar excuse me oh that's good Garwar that's <laughs> awesome uh, th- th- that way he and I don't weigh down the team with our uh, with our novice he's getting better too we awesome. won we played yesterday we won like four games nice yeah yeah okay. yeah cool awesome I think triples is easier you think so than quads gotcha yeah from I what know. I from what I've witnessed gotcha. literally well um I, I need to send garland a friend request so maybe he send and him I, one. yeah maybe, maybe he and i can uh, play duos and, and train so, do it yeah because he'll be like the gas the gas and then he'll be like get, get oh, out of the he gas died Johnny. in the gas yesterday he was so pissed <laughs> i bet he was so bad garland's hilarious he cracks um, me up but anyway you can follow us on all the social <laughs> media platforms with the handle at the stevia show uh be sure to subscribe to the podcast on whichever podcast app you listen to if you're on youtube like garland is uh search for the stevia show and subscribe with the notification button and before he asks i am drinking a doctor a diet dr pepper uh what are you drinking i am drinking a cherry coke nice matt dr pepper nice and uh we would like to thank our anchor producers for the continued support you can support us for as little as 99 cents a month and receive exclusive discord roles and bonus episodes every month Yes, and we also have merchandise available through our bio links. So when you visit us online, check out our link tree and click on merch and we ship nationwide as well. So if you live in Las Vegas, Orlando, or Columbus, Ohio, um, or Hawaii, there we go. Hawaii, uh, yeah, we did talk about Hawaii nice. today. Uh, we will ship to you. Um, and and yes, and we will send you merchandise unless you're Joe Biden and you're a racist and we... <laughs> We, I, I will then not, we'll be like meh yeah yeah i don't uh, know about that we might do like an upcharge you know like the, yeah like, yeah something like that but yeah so i think that's about it for today be sure to check out our streams on tuesdays and thursdays and our podcasts on monday we are providing you with all of the content at extremely reasonable prices matt uh what do you think our calculated loss is for all this content that we're providing for free a lot oh oh no oh okay. god he, he, you were so confident in that <laughs> a lot. i wasn't expecting that <laughs> that was funny all right well hey until next time this is steven this is matt and this is lydia and we will see you all later bye